up guys today i'm going to go through how i recreated this sky time lapse effect that i saw over on instagram that went viral before i get into the editing i need to find an epic soundtrack to go along with this effect so i'm going to head over to epidemic sound who are sponsoring today's video to find a new music track i'm looking for a soundtrack that has a nice drop to the beat so that it matches the effect so this soundtrack right here has a really nice drop to it And if I wanted to find more tracks like this, what I could do is click on the button over here and bring this over the part of the soundtrack that I like. And then Epidemic Sound will actually show me more soundtracks that have similar drops to this soundtrack. So it saves a lot of time when you're looking for a certain type of beat or a certain type of sound. I think I just found the perfect soundtrack for this effect. It's got a really nice drop and it's that sort of future based genre that I really like to use in my edits anyway and it's going to make this effect feel way more epic than it is. If you'd like 30 days free trial of Epidemic Sound then I will leave the link in the description where you can go and try it out for yourself. If you're getting into YouTube or you're working as a videographer then I highly recommend checking them out. Okay so let's get on to the editing for this effect. For the video clip I just shot one really long video clip from a tripod and tried not to obstruct the sky too much. It's going to make it way easier to edit this effect. So I had the video clip with me walking in front of the sky and then I left the frame and let the camera run for around 20 to 30 minutes to capture the time lapse of the sky. If it's a windy day, then you can get away with leaving your camera for about 10 minutes because the clouds will move a lot faster. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the part of the video clip that I want to use of me walking in frame. And then I'm gonna go over to my effects tab over here on the right hand side and go down to mask. And I'm just going to drag the draw mask on this and draw around just below the skyline and around the subject and then around the bottom here should be left with something that looks like this. And I'm going to go over to the parameters and turn the feather up to 100. Then I'm going to get the second part of my video clip and just cut it where I walk out of frame. I'm gonna cut it right there and then drag this underneath the first video clip. So now what I'm going to do is add a speed ramp where I want the time-lapse effect to start happening. So here where I lift up my arms, I'm going to click on the bottom video clip, hold down shift and press B. That's going to create this speed ramp right here. And then on the second half of the video clip, I'm going to click on this drop down menu and go to fast times 20. Because this video clip is so long, I need to go to the end of it and just drag it from the end and drag it all the way back to where I want to the end of this video clip here. So now we have the really basic effect. Here, my hand goes a bit faint, so I'm gonna go up to the draw mask and just make sure this draw mask is above my hands. The next thing I'm going to do is copy and paste the bottom layer and add that on top. Go over to the transform tool and I'm going to flip this upside down and then add a graduated mask and I basically want something that looks like this. I'm then going to go over to the blend mode and click overlay and then I'm going to add a blur to this And I'm gonna turn the blur up to 100 and then the blur boost to 2.6 around there. And this is basically going to be kind of a light source to light the bottom half of the image so that it reacts with the time-lapse. The bottom image will actually get darker with and lighter with the time-lapse using this as an overlay. I'm then going to add, go up to my titles and add an adjustment layer to add a bit of color grading. And I'm gonna go down to color and I'm gonna use a custom LUT effect and use one of my presets. I'm going to use golden for this one to get 
a teal and orange type of color. You can find my presets using the link in the description. I'm also going to press command six and go to color curves. And I'm just going to up the contrast a little bit on this one. And if we go back to the overlay layer and go to the exposure, we can actually make this a bit lighter. So if I disable the color grade and the overlay, you can see how much it changes the image. And I think that's a really nice before and after and a really nice touch to this effect. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.